Bull, when he got drafted, you played one year for Red Bull. Yep. Is that right? Coach Yang was there? Yeah, Coach Yang, yes. So, so exp- <laughs> explain to me how as how is Coach Yang as your coach as a rookie? Because I've heard he's hard on players, but he must he's probably especially hard on rookie players. Yeah. Uh, actually, I heard stories already. <laughs> <laughs> and then when we... In practice, he was okay. He's like... Uh, he was always like like this, quiet. Of just observing. <laughs> but when we played tune-up, I, uh, I think I remember this one, against Coke. So, like, second quarter, uh, time running out. So I had the ball. So I wanted to do one on one. So I was dribbling, and then I lost the ball. <laughs> Turn over. Then he, sh- he uh, time ran out. Coaching. Chat. Hindi ka man mag dribble, di ba? I pass ang bola. Hindi pilit mo. Like then he said that. Tit tit tit. Then we're like. Then that's it. That's that. Coach, I haven't played for Coach Yang, but I've played against him. Uh, for years, and it's an interesting experience because, like, he he'd be yelling at me, <laughs> even, and I'm like, you, at first you're like, you look over and you get mad, but you know, then you understand that's just how he, yeah, is. That's how he is. And actually, he's like one of the nicest guys off the court, off the court. that, that I've ever met. That's true. You can just talk, talk to him, you know, jokes. You can even like. Uh, at first, I I thought it he was like strict, you know, but. After a while, you know, you, you get to know him. He's okay outside the court. Okay. Well, that's, yeah. uh, you played you played for him for a long time. Must yeah. have been, what, been, eight years? Probably, yeah. With eight rain years. or shine. Okay. I wanted to ask you, you now, he has a unique style of coaching. I mean, other than he's super intense mm-hmm. in games. But he also did, he kind of started here, I think, the dispersion of minutes like mm, he yeah. doesn't play anybody 35 minutes that's true like if you're if you're really good on his team you might play 26 26 to 30 26 yeah, to 30, 30 yeah. and even if you're you know some games you might not play a lot other games you might come in and play a lot like how did you like that style of, of play uh, well you get the rest you know mm-hmm. yeah, and um, at least because uh, like me at first uh, I'm like playing with Cyrus uh, who else there? Rich Alvarez. So I was like, okay, I'll have. Uh, he was always telling me that you'll have your time. So you, you just have to be ready because mm-hmm. I will divide the minutes. So there, I was a rookie, so I played like 20 minutes right away. So that's, that's fine. Pretty, that's pretty good, right? Yeah, right? For, 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 a rookie. for a rookie. So you, you'll get your confidence there, you know, that you know every game you're, you're going to play. You'll have a chance to play and show it to coach. Was there ever a time when you got older, maybe, and you know you got better and more confident? I thought you were one of the better wings in the league. Was there ever a time where you wanted to play more? Like you're getting yeah. 24 minutes and you're like, "Hey, <laughs> how come you know I want to play 35?" You know? <laughs> Not like that. Sometimes, because like, let's say first quarter, you're on fire. You yeah. scored 12 points, but. Second quarter, you're going to sit down. Don't play at all. <laughs> Don't play at all. <laughs> and then you're going to start third quarter. So let's say so let's say some some fans or some of your friends after the game, hey, you were on fire. Why did you sit down second? No, talk to coach. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> I, I always found that I'm, I'm fascinated, fascinated by that style because, you know, most of the teams that I played on, I, I just wondered how – how Coach Yang gets it to work, and other teams might try it, and it yeah. might not work. Yeah. Like some players might complain, mm-hmm. um, some some players might not like it, or maybe there's a little bit of talk amongst the team. But it seemed to really work for you guys. And I was wondering, how, why do you think he got it to work with with your group of guys? Ooh, actually, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> was it well? Was it something that he talked about? Like you said, as a rookie, he came in and said, "Okay, yeah. you're going to play this much." Yeah. Does he let everyone know, hey, be ready? Uh, yeah, always, every time. So uh, let's say even though you're like the 11, 12, 13 player, just, you just have to be ready. You know, you never know well, well, if I'll put you in or you'll be the first five the next game. You just have to be ready. 
an amazing job, and you guys went on an amazing run too. Yeah. I mean, just thinking about it. Um, excuse me. Uh, playing you guys in the finals in 2015 yeah. with with Henderson Niles. The confidence of some of the guys, like everyone that went in, played with confidence. Yep. I think you guys got up on us three zero, but guys like uh, Jewel, uh, Ponferrada was hitting yeah. threes. <laughs> then he's going to the basket, That's and it. like I played with Jewel for at Global. Global. Yeah. I'm like he didn't do that when I was at Global. He was only on the pool, right? <laughs> yeah. So it was amazing to me how everyone came in and it just seemed like you know there weren't uh, there was no letdown. Yeah. Guys play with confidence. Yeah, because uh, Coach Yang always tells the player, you know, you have to come in early, let's say for practice, because mm -hmm. you have to shoot, shoot uh, inside and outside. Because that's a, that's our system. You know, you, you either shoot inside, or if you're free outside, like in the three point line, you shoot it if you're open. Man, so, yeah. uh, <laughs> he was easy, easy basketball. <laughs> you know, if you're open there, you shoot it. Yeah, you guys had it. You guys had it going against yeah. against us. Um, we're at about a thing.